IT's official, shock state can now jail conservatives for politically incorrect words. Democrats are enforcing their ideology at the barrel of a gun. Anyone who refuses to comply with their politically correct rhetoric now faces jail time in this state. California Governor Jerry Brown has signed into law a bill criminalizing misgendering nursing home and intermediate care facility residents. Under the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender (LGBT) Senior Bill of Rights, anyone who willfully and repeatedly fails to use a transgender resident's preferred name or pronouns is guilty of a misdemeanor and faces a $1,000 fine and one year behind bars, reports the Daily Caller. The bill was authored by recently elected Senator Scott Weiner, D, who represents the 11th District of California, which includes San Francisco. Under the LGBT Senior Bill of Rights bill, nursing home and long-term care facilities will be blocked from offering gender-segregated bathrooms, allowing residents to use the bathroom of their choice, regardless of their biological sex. State Senator Weiner defended the bill, suggesting that all opposition was transphobic adding that, everyone is entitled to their religious view, but when you enter the public space, when you are running an institution, you are in a workplace, you are in a civil setting, and you have to follow the law. He was essentially demanding that the devout leave their morals at home. Senator Weiner released a letter thanking Governor Jerry Brown for signing the controversial bill into law. Our LGBT seniors built the modern LGBT community and led the fight for so many of the rights our community takes for granted today. It is our duty to make sure they can age with the dignity and respect they deserve, he wrote. I want to thank Governor Brown for joining our coalition and supporting this bill, which will make a real difference in people's lives. The LGBT Senior Bill of Rights is an important step in our fight to ensure all people are treated equally regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity. Scott Weiner was elected to the state Senate in November 2016, and has been very active in his short time there. In addition to his LGBT Senior Bill of Rights, Senator Weiner has authored legislation including a bill recognizing a third non-binary gender on official government documentation and another that reduces penalties for willingly exposing sexual partners to HIV-AIDS. Senator Weiner introduced Senate Bill 179, the Gender Identity, Female, Male, or Non-Binary Bill. The proposed legislation would make it easier for transgender people in California to legally change their gender. Under the bill, Applicants would only need to sign an affidavit that they desire to change genders to be recognized by the state as the opposite gender. The bill also introduces a legal third gender option, non-binary. The gender identity, female, male, or non-binary bill has already passed both the state senate and the state assembly, it will become law if signed by Gov. Brown. Another piece of legislation introduced by Weiner and recently signed into law by Gov. Brown reduces penalties for knowingly spreading HIV-AIDS. Willingly spreading HIV was downgraded from a felony offense to a misdemeanor. The new law also applies to blood and semen donors who fail to inform staff that they are HIV-positive, reports the Los Angeles Times. These laws are absolutely discriminatory. No other serious infectious disease is treated this way. HIV was signaled out, Weiner said, adding that since most people can live a full life after being diagnosed HIV positive, it does not make sense to have harsh punishments for willingly spreading the disease.